I'm Marcia Javit. Uh, originally, I'm from New York. I spent more than 30 years in Washington, D.C. before coming to Israel. When I was growing up, I did not come from a privileged household. My mother supported my family because my father was disabled and she was a rock. But one day when I was six years old, I walked into a room and I saw her crying and I'd never seen it before. And she said, look at the television. And she pointed and on the TV were images from the death camps in Germany during World War II. And then she started to talk about the story of the state of Israel. And I said, that's amazing. So I was always very curious about what happened here to make this a miracle occur in this part of the world. How could it be? So I learned more and more as time went by. And my feeling for the country really relates back to how my mother felt about it. My husband, who loves Israel, as I do, always told me that he wanted to move to Israel. And I began to think about it, but I didn't see a way to do it because I didn't imagine there would ever be a suitable place for me to work here. When I heard about Rambam looking for someone to be the next director of radiology here, at first I said, I don't think that it would be possible for me to be considered for such a job. And the individual I was speaking to said, just give me your CV and I will send it. We'll see what happens. So the next step was, come for a visit. Just check it out. And I did. And I was very, very impressed. In Rambam, I saw people from every religion, every culture, every walk of life, standing shoulder to shoulder and taking care of patients together. I really knew when I came back for the second trip to visit Rambam, that my future should be here. I felt in a way like I came home. One of the most exciting things that we can do in Israel is to create innovations. I'm working with Professor Suhami. We've just finished preclinical trials of a new way to make images of the breast without radiation exposure. And we're hoping that this will allow us to find a new way to image, to detect, and to characterize breast cancer. So uh, that's one of the most important things. Another project that we're working on, we've decided to take advantage of all of the modalities we have to image prostate cancer. And we find the most important parts of the prostate gland that have a tumor. We zap the target with focal therapy and we spare these men radical prostatectomy. It allows for targeted therapy without a, a radical surgery. This is the trend and it will be extremely important moving forward and it will be on a global scale, no question. When I learned that I was about to be honored with the Venezion Award, I was thrilled, amazed, and more than anything, I was invigorated. It's a reason to redouble efforts and continue the pathway that I started. And more than that, for me, in a way, it's about giving back what others gave to me along the way.